Hey guys, Mike here. Today I got a little tip video on how to get old photos into the new iCloud Photo Library. So just a little explanation here so you understand what's going on. Um, iCloud Photo Library is a new feature that's rolling out with iOS 8. It's currently in beta form. And what it does is it takes all the photos that's on your phone and puts them up into the cloud. So you no longer have to store them actually on your phone. You can store your entire library up in the cloud and you'll be able to access that library on any of your devices, anything that's hooked up to your iCloud account. Now the trick here is once you activate the um, this feature, um, it'll take the photos that's on your phone and put them up into the iCloud, but you can no longer manage your photos using um, iTunes. So, you know, if you're like me, you know, you're managing space a little bit, you don't have all the videos and everything you might have on your phone, you got them stored on your computer. Uh, plus, it's a good idea to do that just so you can have a backup copy of it all. Um, you, you know, how are you going to do that? So next year, Apple's coming out with a new um, Photos app, and I, I assume here you'll be able to have good control over that and what's in the cloud and what's actually on your on your device. But right now, you're kind of stuck. Once you make that switch to iPhoto Cloud or i uh, iPhoto iCloud Photo Library, um, you can't um, add any more photos to your phone. So I've been playing around with a couple things. There's this cool little app called Photo Sync, which I have right here, and we'll show you how this works. And this is a pretty nifty little app. It's a good way to get photos on and off your phone. Um, but it has one really uh, cool fe feature here uh, for web sharing. And basically what it does is it creates a little mini web server. And you can see right here it has an IP address on your local network. So what we'll do is we'll add some photos to this and show how you can put it on there. So first let's take a look at the um, at my library. So you can see here's all the photos I have. And this earliest one I have on here is 2009. So I went back and I just picked a random photo from before 2009 just so um, we can demonstrate how this works. So here is the app. Let's switch over to a different view so we can see it. So here, this is on my computer right here. Um, and then what we'll do is um, we'll load up that, that IP address. Um, you can see I, I typed that IP address right here. And now I'm accessed directly to my phone. And I have a picture here. It's a uh, a Velvus or a Velvet Elvis uh, painting. Like I said, I just grabbed a random one that was kind of interesting. And you just drag it right into the browser. And you can see, boom, really quick, it, um, it, it updated on the phone. And then it says it's done here on the browser. Now, you can take a whole bunch of photos if you want and dump them on. Um, that works. You know, I've done hundreds at a time uh, doing it. And also works for videos. But for this case, we just did um, one. So let's switch back over to this view. Um, give it a second to uh, to update the library. You can see the earliest one is still 2009. And there we go. Now it just updated. We'll click on it. Now it says 2007. That photo was from 2007. And there it is right now. So there's a photo that I had on my computer, transferred, transferred it over to my phone, and now that'll push it out into the iCloud Photo Library, which will make it available to you know all of my devices. So there's a little tip to kind of get you going until the new Photos app comes out that Apple allows us to sort of do this directly on the replacement for iPhoto. All right, guys, this is Mike from the Mac. Thanks for watching.